Welcome to another report of Northern Heat for this week. And this week we have two special guests with us, Polly Parent and Ronnie Ward. And both of them are with the uh, Trailblazer. What is it now? It's the uh, Super Village Trailblazer uh, Snowmobile Club. And uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about you guys volunteer to go out and groom the trails, but it's not just grooming the trails. There's a little bit more work than that, right? Yeah. So, Polly, how long have you been doing this? Since 2000. Since 2000. So you got 18 years in. Yeah. So you got more seniority than Ronnie over yeah. here? Yeah, Ronnie, how many years you got in? I have eight. You got eight years, so you got you got them by a few years. You guys have known each other for years. You worked together at the smelter. And here you are working again uh, together on this. Yep. So, what is it that that, uh, that you do? Because it's not just uh, sitting up in the seat here and and nope. and grooming. In the fall, we do all the uh, trail signs and markers and bush cutting and clean around in front of the all the signs on the trail. Okay, so that keeps you uh, quite busy. And how many, uh, we talked about a little bit a while ago, but you got uh, quite a few kilometers that you guys do? Yes, we have uh, 125 kilometers of trail, which uh, you have to do once a week. Okay, so how long does that take you? Uh, we usually put in uh, close to 40 hours a week there, just well, on, a, on a normal week. Yeah, this is, that sounds like a real job there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And, and you start, like you said, you start uh, cleaning brush in the, in, the, uh, in the fall and stuff. You guys don't uh, do anything in the summertime. I'm sure you can find something to do, but there's a... Uh... No, we start usually in the, the end of August and the September. Okay, okay. This year we started early because of the dryness, plus I was, I was going to have an operation, so... Plus you knew that uh, the snow was coming early. Yes. Yeah, because it hit early and you were out there uh, quite a bit of snow right early in the year, so that kind of changed the uh, things a little bit. So there's, uh, you're uh, doing some maintenance on the, uh, on the machine today. So you've got, uh, you've got a nice warm spot here up at DJ Schmier. So Dale's uh, allows you to, uh, to bring in the, uh, the groomer here and get to, to work on it. So that's good. You're not outside trying to do this, right? I guess <laughs> he's a lifesaver for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if you're trying to do this outside, we don't have a warm winter. No, it's be impossible to do what we're doing outside yeah, there. Yeah, so I'm, just, I'm looking at the groomer here, and uh, this was a little incident that happened uh, this, uh, just at the beginning of the year, is it? Yep. You hit a branch or something, is that what the, the story is? Well, there was so many, that big rain we had in, the, in November. Yeah. All the trees were bent over. Okay. So. One of them kind of so caught just there. Just came up, just hit the windshield. Yeah. So now you've got a, uh, there's a supper going on, uh, uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, right? It's a fundraiser for the uh, Snowmobile Club. Yeah. Does that also help for uh, uh, trying to uh, raise some money to change this, uh, this windshield <laughs> for you? Or, uh? Uh, yes. Yeah. All, all the money goes to the same. Goes to the, same, the same pot. Place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But there's budgets and stuff that you need to yeah. do. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, we might as well uh, post it out there that if anybody wants to, uh, to help the, uh, the Snowmobile Club, that this... Uh, uh, supper is being held on the 23rd yeah. and at the same time if anybody feels that uh, they want to donate a windshield for this thing you guys are going to be uh, glad to take that right? That yes. Very nice. Yeah because when I look at it uh, you know Ronnie you might have a little bit harder time seeing over the top of the crack <laughs> there but uh, there's uh, you know it, it kind of hides the view a little bit oh, yeah. and, and uh, must let in a little bit of air. Well it's, we got it you taped, taped up pretty good. Yeah yeah. 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 So, uh, supper we have 350 steak over Oh, really? Okay. 350. There. T-bone so, steak. T-bone steaks. Well, there we go. 350 T-bone steaks up for grabs. It sounds like a good, uh, a good deal. And it's up here at the uh, Snowmobile Club up at the end of uh, Archibald Road. So there, uh, here we are. We're on a the theme of basically talking about things we can do in the wintertime. There's a number of snowmobile clubs in the, uh, on the North Shore. They all tie into each other. And uh, everybody does their part in, in grooming and keeping those trails the way that they, uh, they are. And... Uh, any uh, things that we get from uh, reports we get from any snowmobilers that are really pleased and happy about uh, all the trails that are existing in the, on the North Shore and how they can tie into everywhere and go over all over the place. And Keith DeGrasse was talking about that last week or the week before when I interviewed him. So you guys are uh, turning on the heat in northern New Brunswick for sure. You're out there volunteering your time to do this and making sure that uh, uh, people have safe trails to drive on. So really appreciate you doing that for the region. Thank you. And uh, thank, thank you. you very much for doing this interview. Thanks. Here we are. Another opportunity to talk about people that are turning on the heat in northern New Brunswick.